Papua New Guineans are again at risk of having their phones deactivated in the coming days due to laws making it mandatory to register SIM cards with their provider. The legislation passed several years ago, but there are fears hundreds of thousands of people remain unregistered, which, given PNG's remoteness, could put lives at risk. For more, I spoke with Dr Amanda Watson from the Australian National University, whose research focuses on mobile phone usage in Papua New Guinea. She says security is the main reason many developing countries have chosen to pursue such a policy. Well, like many developing countries, most of the people have prepaid mobile phones, which means that they're not receiving a bill at the end of each month or anything like that. So the telecommunication companies and the government don't know who's using the different phone numbers. And so many developing countries have chosen to go down this road of having compulsory uh, mobile phone or SIM card registration, partly or mainly often because of security. Security is usually the main reason why uh, countries say that they want to do this. And what will carrying out such a scheme involve? Well, what it means is that the, uh, the, uh, the owners, the users of the mobile phones need to register their SIM cards and in the case of Papua New Guinea they have to have their photos taken and things like that and uh, show some form of identification. In Papua New Guinea this is quite problematic because most people don't have uh, uh, identification, written identification documents, so that is a challenge. And also many people live in very disparate and even remote places and so registering their SIM cards is quite difficult for many people to do. And that would be the cause of these delays given that the legislation passed in 2016? Yes, well, uh, some people have registered their SIM cards. We think that of about 2.8 million mobile phone SIM cards that are in use in Papua New Guinea, about a million of them are unregistered. So uh, that's roughly 1.8 million have been registered. Uh, but yes, it is difficult for some people to register their, their mobile phone SIM cards. And uh, the other thing that caused a delay was that for the whole of 2019, there was a court case uh, uh, pending regarding that, uh, but that now has uh, has come to a conclusion. So therefore, the government is ready to move ahead with the, the registration and possibly the deactivation of uh, unregistered SIM cards. Now, what are the benefits of uh, this kind of scheme? From the studies that you've done, is there a great deal to be gained here? There's not a lot of benefit that seems to seems to be coming through. Uh, for instance, in many developing countries, such as in Africa uh, and various other parts of the world, people have been registering their mobile phones, and then uh, a lot of people have had their phones deactivated in various countries because they weren't able to register them in time. Uh, and it doesn't seem to have had the benefits that might have been anticipated regarding terrorism, crime, security, physical security, and so on. Now, how would such a program impact the people of PNG, given that many are in remote parts of, uh, of the country and they're prone to medical emergencies and, uh, and natural disasters? Yes, well, that's the thing that I'm concerned about because uh, many of the people live in rural areas where they don't have access to other forms of media and communication technologies. They don't have uh, public phones in the villages or landline phones in their houses. Uh, many people don't have internet access and so on. So it is quite worrying that if, uh, if in some communities all of the mobile phones get turned off, for instance, then uh, it is a worry to consider what might happen if there's a time-critical medical emergency such as a childbirth uh, complication or a snake bite or something like that. So what's the best way to tackle this then? Uh, well, I guess I've sort of urged the government to try and take more time over this and also to try and reach out to the remote communities. Uh, the country also um, has problems with the electoral role. Maybe things, uh, a number of different initiatives could be coupled together and uh, perhaps teams could go out and work together to help people to have identification cards and register their mobile phones and register for the electoral role and things like that. Um, but certainly for the mobile phone registration, I think it would be good if people could have more time uh, to register their SIM cards. So will this finally be carried out in your opinion or could we see another delay? So the regulator uh, in Papua New Guinea, that's called NICTA, the National Information Communication Technology Authority, uh, I believe they're planning to, in the very near future, in the coming days, they're planning to meet with the telecommunication companies to commence the process of the deactivation of unregistered SIM cards. So that looks to be uh, what seems to be likely to happen now in the coming days. Dr Amanda Watson, thank you for your time. Thank you.